Hello everyone. Today I am doing a cut throat. I am using cotton balls, liquid latex, cream makeup, acrylic paint, more cream makeup, and of course blood. Here's the cotton ball. Roll it out. Fray it slightly at the sides. Do not pull it apart. It tears very easily. Place it where you want the wound to be to make sure. Then start adding the liquid latex. Let the liquid latex completely dry before you add the cotton to it. Put the cotton on. Here I am pulling it apart from the side so it's not so thick at the end. Pull it slightly down and pull away from the edges so it's seamless. If it's not seamless, it's okay. Start adding the liquid latex on top of it. Put it on thickly or it will stick like it started to with me. It is very sticky, so be careful. It is okay if it does stick. Just be able to fix later. If it's messy, it's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect. If it was perfect, then it would look absolutely fake. Here I am adding liquid latex around it so it is much more seamless and smooth. Be careful here not to move around a lot because it is very sticky and it will stick to itself. I am now adding foundation or base to my skin. It is the same color that I use for my face. You want to make sure it is completely smoothed out. I talk a lot, yes, and most of it is, as I'm saying, it's just a lot more, how you say, just talking to talk. Nothing interesting, so don't worry, you didn't miss anything. This is the sponge that I use. It is very nice for making road rashes, but it also is amazing for making bruises. Start with the yellow around the wound. Start with little bits, not a whole bunch. If you use a whole bunch, you can't take it off. You'll have to start over, so start with a little bit. When you got it all the way around, then use it on the wound itself. Here's what it's looking like so far. Not the best view. I will put some pictures up on at the end of the video. Here 
The yellow helps make it look infected. You want to add some on your skin so it's not so... Here's where the wound is and here's where my skin is. I'm adding red. I'm adding the red on the wound first and then blending it, which was a mistake. I suggest not blending it in on the wound. I didn't do it on the other half, and the other half looked much better, this half. Now it's starting to look like my skin is rotting at the neck, and that's a look that you very much want. You want to put the dark red on the wound itself. I stress, be careful doing this. I've done this a lot. If you are not comfortable using scissors, then I suggest not doing this. Do not use an exacto knife. You will actually cut yourself. I've done this for over a year now. And if you're not experienced with it, start off somewhere not on your neck. Because I have cut myself many times before, and I am not responsible for you cutting yourself. So please, everyone, be careful. Now you want to pull it up like I am. Fold it over to add in the acrylic paint that is like a very, very dark red, almost black, to give it some depth. Make sure to let it completely dry before you go in and add other stuff, the rest of it. Which I, I guess is just blank, but yeah. Here I am starting to use my finger because it's much easier for me. That's what I'm used to using. Make sure to get all the creases. Doesn't really, really matter, but it's best to make sure you got it all. Here's the purple that I'm using. The red and the yellow that I used before the dark red that I used before. Add the purple just to where the cut is at. It gives it a little bit more depth. Pull it down. If some of the paint pulls up, it is perfectly fine. Just add a little bit more. Let it dry before you add the blood. Yes, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> I'm using the sponge to give it a little bit more texture than a spray bottle would. Spray bottles still give a lot of texture and it's just as good. But this gives it the texture that you really kind of want and you can buy a spray bottle and just add blood into it. Uh, this is actually a, a bottle that I bought that already had blood in it. Please let it drip by itself. I think when people make it drip it doesn't look as natural even though this isn't really natural. That only it's took me bloody. 30 minutes, I should I be guess. dead right now. That was a lot faster. If you're doing it yourself without recording it, but we're, this is my first video and I'm recording, so it took me slightly longer than it normally does. Anyways, have a wonderful day, everyone. Best of luck to you.